Yo, what is going, y'all? So this is Braxton, Braxton from BZ underscore builds, and I'm back again today. Today we're going to be doing a audio upgrade on my EG hatch, but I'm gonna lay it out for y'all so y'all can go to replicate it the same. So we're doing a no cut audio upgrade. So we're going to upgrade to a modern day, a single den with Bluetooth, and we're gonna upgrade to 6.5 inch speakers um, in the door. But we're gonna do all this without cutting anything or going to splice any of the factory wires. Everything is either a bolt on or a clip on affair. So this is a fully a reversible audio upgrade. Um, and you can do this right at home in your own garage with minimum special tools required. So with that being said, we will get into the radio install first followed by the actual speaker install. So let me know what y'all think. Um, and if you wanna go to replicate the setup for yourself, I'm gonna have everything I use uh, to do this audio upgrade in my Civic linked in the description below. So, I'll catch you. All right, so moving on to our radio install. So first thing we have to do is actually get the old radio out. In order to do that, we got a series of Phillips head bolts we need to take fake out it's gonna be Phillips head screws so first one being on the right side I don't have my seats in right now just because I got a bunch of projects going on at once but as always right you want to just try to keep um all your hardware in one place that way you don't lose it and then we got one on the other side as well Being the fact that my hardware is still all the OEM stuff, I'm really trying to keep it um, together, not lose it. Now, if we look underneath here, we have two Phillips, one right there, one right there. So, go ahead and get it. So, you gotta look out for the cigarette lighter harness. Now that we have that off, okay, now we have the back here, we have access to go ahead and get our radio out. So, there is only one bolt that I'm tracking, hold on a Okay, <laughs> when I tell you I spent the last two hours probably trying to get out this radio, I'm not lying. Reason being is, um, that being the fact that my cars are German spec cars are a bit different than the US spec cars. And one of the things that's different is the fact that the way you remove the radio, it's not held on by uh, by three bolts. Um, like a lot of the US cars, you actually have to stick um, kind of, well, there's these uh, radio uh, removal tools, but being the fact I didn't want to wait to order one, cut up uh, two hangers and then these tools actually go in like these two little holes on both sides you press those in and you're supposed to be able to slide the radio out unfortunately uh mine was a little bit more difficult but now that we got it out now what we have to do is one gotta disconnect the antenna and then two we are gonna go ahead and and just I uh, disconnect this wiring harness right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock. All right, so next up is obviously the wiring. So right here I have this adapter harness. Hopefully this adapter harness um, <laughs> is gonna work being the fact that this is a European model um, and the wires are a bit different. Well, could be a bit different. We don't even know until we try. But the good thing about this harness is it's all pinned out. It tells you what it is right here. Then we have the actual new radio harness right here. All I got to do is follow the directions that Kenwood gave me, and then everything should um, wire right up to each other. So I'm actually gonna go inside for this, grab my wire strippers and all that good stuff, and I'll do this at the table. But pretty much you're gonna be running, um, you know, power to power, left front speaker to left front speaker, right front speaker to right front speaker, all that good stuff like that. Um, so once I get inside, I'll explain it a little bit further and show you some of the stuff that you're gonna need. So this was the final 
ton result of all my soldering. I came through and then I heat shrinked it as well. Um, honestly, I was just about to go and twist the wires together and call it a day, but since I want this to be something that so last a good amount of time, I was like, you know what, I'll actually go and solder it. Took a minute, but it's all good, it's done now. Um, so what we're actually gonna do is test it, see if the radio powers up. Ooh, moment of truth, moment of truth. All this struggle, let's see where it leads. Plug in. We just gotta grab our radio. Let's just see what it do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the video. So we got an issue here. Number one, so you have not hit that like button. Number two, you did not leave a comment. Number three, you did not subscribe yet. So I need you to do all three of those things and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, make sure to support the people that support the channel and Fortunados. It's one of those companies, so make sure to check them out. And if you want to buy anything, use discount code BZ5. That's B E E Z Y five for five percent off any purchase over there at Fortunato. So I'm gonna let y'all get back to y'all video. Wow. Okay, here we go. Select language. We gonna ride with English. Well, why figure this out? Put y'all on hold. All right, y'all. It is working. I'm paired up. I heard Poppy outside, and he got the double R. Drop it outside. That's where Drake versus Trash on the song. But yeah, we got it. All right. So next step, we are going to go ahead and actually get it permanently mounted now. All right. So next, we have to actually install this because this is what's going to mount our radio. Keep it flush inside there. It should be a pretty flush fit. So you might have to finagle it, work it in. There we go. But that's what you want. That's gonna keep your radio in place. Even when you launching and doing all that, doing all that good stuff. All right, so when you gotta push it in place, now what you're gonna do is come through and you're gonna bend down um, these little tabs right here and that's gonna lock it in. So you got these little tabs and you need to actually bend them in um, around and that's gonna lock this in. So let me go ahead, start to bend some of these tabs in. So let's go ahead and get this door panel off. So there's a couple things that we're gonna need to remove. 
one of those things being this pin right here. So, this is a little connector, screw it out a little bit. Then you just wanna get to the point where you can actually pull it out. It comes out just like that. Nothing too crazy there. Make sure you just keep your hardware um, just where you can get to it. Next, we're gonna remove this cup holder right here. It has a Phillips head screw. Keep in mind that this plastic is brittle, you know. By this time, it is old. So, try to take your time with it, all right? So, on the bottom of that, it's gonna be my actual connector. And your door may be different, depending on if you got manual windows or whatever, but then we got that loose right there. And then I'm just gonna put my screw that goes inside of there, right there. So got that loose. Now we're gonna turn our attention to the actual door. There's a screw right in there. Might be kinda hard to see. Yep, there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out now. All right, so you just gotta like rotate this around and it will actually rotate on. So what we're actually gonna do here, I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. We wanna find where it, hit, where it clip is. Pull up on it nice and easy. Huh. All right, cool. Now that we got that out right there. All right, so now we're actually able to see the speaker itself. We can see the speaker does have some damage. The speaker is broken. You can see where the cone has since ripped, but too easy, no problem. So now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna go to remove the speaker itself. But let me go ahead and get our new speaker so we can look at what we're working with. So, it's me from the future. So I had to go and order some more parts, but it's gonna make the install even better. So I'm gonna show y'all what I actually got. So, I got this Honda speaker adapter harness. The reason why I got this um, is because this harness actually, oh, we don't pull that out. So this harness is actually going to allow us to just plug directly into the plug that's there. That way we don't have to do any cutting or any splicing. Female side of the harness will just plug directly into our speaker. So the next thing I got was these uh, 6.5 inch speaker adapter plates. So this is gonna just bolt up right here and that's gonna allow us to be able to run a true uh, 6.5 inch speaker, which we have here from Kicker. So. This should be a nice little sound upgrade um, for the Civic. And, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost too much more to go to 6.5 inch. So, we are gonna go ahead and get this installed now, but it's pretty dope. So, all you have to do with the adapter harness is plug it in to your positive and negative. So, negative is gonna be black, positive is just gonna be white. The good thing about these speakers is that the negative terminal, as you can see, quite a bit thinner than the positive, so you can't even get them backwards even if you try it. Then, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in right there, like that. But first, we're gonna get this adapter plate installed. Got this off Amazon as well. Shoot, I got all this stuff off Amazon. Everything I used to install my radio, everything, all the speakers, this little adapter mount plate, all that good stuff, got it all from Amazon. So. I'll be sure to have this thing in the description for y'all. So let me get this installed right quick. Bam, so just like that, this adapter plate is installed. Um, it fit really, really well. Um, no issues at all, it's 3D printed. So, you know, it will do the job. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our actual speaker with this little adapter harness. So this adapter harness is super duper nice just cause of the fact that it literally fits the OEM plug. Plugs in just like that. Then we can just tuck that out of the way. So as far as this kicker um, speaker right here, I decided to go with this just cause I like the brand kicker. Um, these were affordable, it was uh, it was like $76 off of Amazon for two. And you know, it seemed like it was worth it to me. So that's what I went with. So now we're gonna go ahead and get these installed. It's the whole goal of this here is just to, you know, it's just a mild upgrade, but just from stock, you know, cause the stock door speakers were blown. They were pretty 
tiny as well. I'm not looking for a lot of bass in this setup. I just want to be able to hear it while going down the highway, you know? So as long as that can be accomplished, I'm happy. All right, so let's give it a little try. Make sure everything is working. So now that we got the actual speaker installed, the next thing really to do is go um, and move on to just trying to reinstall our door card over there. But before I do that, I do want to just point out um, what speaker I actually bought. Of course, I opened up the box wrong, but it is the Kicker DSC650. I'm gonna have this linked in, um, in the description as well. So we got a little bit of an upgrade compared to our stock speaker going here. <laughs> Just a little bit, but hopefully um, with everything all together, we'll be able to have the clearance that we're looking for, but you can definitely see the difference. So just um, so I got the other speaker there as well. I just wanted to give y'all just an idea of just how um, it sounds uh, just inside the cabin. If you bout it, don't give a fuck. If you're involved, cause I'm bout it. If you bout it. All right, Charles. So there you have it. Um, so I have everything back installed. So the door card went in, it didn't bind, it didn't hit against anything, even when I turned on the music, um, even, uh, so blasting it pretty loudly, there was no strange vibrations or nothing like that. So I can constantly say that this is literally a no cut, no wire modification, no trimming of anything. Um, so install for both the radio that I did and as well as a 6.5 inch door speaker. So for those of y'all, um, and that half cards you're not trying to really cut up, um, but still just want a little bit better sound quality and want that Bluetooth uh, capability, this could definitely be an option for you. I'm gonna have all this stuff linked in the description. So um, if you would wanna go to replicate the setup for yourself, then you could do so super easily with just the click of a button. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like, and please make sure to drop a comment and so just saying that you enjoyed the video and also just make sure to subscribe please so take it easy i'm out <laughs>